are here with Clay from Capstone Games. I'm excited. Hey, hey, hey everybody. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm sighing here because this is so good. So I'm excited what you have to tell well, us about this one. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so Hashable Connect released last year for us, and this was part one of a trilogy of games from Thomas Spitzer. Okay. Um, and the expansion's coming out in May this year. And so we have our first prototype copy. This is actually handmade just specifically for Gamma. Oh, so this is? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was like uh, oh, hand cut and everything. I was going like to say, it's pretty yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, the components are all there. And I just wanted to showcase some of the, the right. elements. But uh, so what's going on in this expansion? Um, yeah. The base game, as you know, is all about the discovery of coal. And so you have... Um, You've discovered coal in your land, and you you can utilize this resource for many different things. And people, more and more people now, want to get involved in this business. This is very profitable, so um, we see more developments, um, longer tunnels, and everything like that. Right. So, the expansion is a modular expansion in that there's there's three things, which is kind of fitting for a trilogy. Right. Of Go, course. Going in threes. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're throwing at you is. Um, there's a total of 21 new development tiles that we include in this game. So you're going to have added variability. That's beyond what the, the base game can provide. Right. Um, so 13 of those development tiles can be used just with the base game. You don't have to have the okay. extra elements in this expansion. So if you just want to keep the game as it is, you can use all 13 tiles that right. are in there. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the other thing is, um, the second thing we've included is uh, there's four different rows of technology in this game. Okay. It's like a tech tree. Right. We've added a fifth level to that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> oh, wow. getting down there is going to be pretty tough. I already have a hard enough time with the ones that are existing. So. Yeah, I know. It's, once you get down to the bottom, it's towards the end of the game. Oh, but my goodness. If you can get to the fifth row in this game, it, right. is, it is bananas. I mean... There's there's a bunch of stuff that happens. You get up to five points, which is a lot in this game. Yes. <laughs> um, you also get a, a unique ability with the tile itself, um, and then you also get something new that we're including in the game. Mm -hmm. um, they're in-game scoring tiles. So the first person to get there is going to be able to choose from six different in-game scoring tiles in the game. Oh, wow. And that only pertains to you. So there's more ways to get points. Oh, which I like because I'm that type of player where yeah. I want those end-game, you know, and surprise and get in the lead because I, I struggled throughout the game a little bit. I don't yeah. think I was using my uh, resources <laughs> very well. So yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. And once you get to the fifth row, you can only acquire one of those tiles. Right. And it locks out that tile from anybody else getting it which is unique so which is great yeah so, so it actually like, gives you a fighting chance <laughs> yeah this is my tile nobody else can exactly get it kind of yeah. so now yeah. i'm assuming this increases the difficulty then it's going to drive up the complexity make it right. a little bit deeper of a game um pun it, intended so. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i totally didn't get that but that was a good one <laughs> and but, yeah. does it change the player count at all or it's going it's to be still the same before players okay. plays in 90 to 120 minutes now uh, that and so those first two don't change the length of the game. Right. It's still three rounds. But the third thing that we throw in this, um, and it's my favorite, um, we're actually going to make it four rounds, so it's a little bit longer of a right. game. But what's really cool is, and going with the theme where coal is more prevalent now, people want it more and more, Right. We on your player board, you're going to get an extended tunnel um, here. So it's a longer tunnel. Um, and there's a lot more coal to, to yeah. acquire. So you can actually just put it here, yeah, so you can yeah. see. And it, maybe when you go for a Q&A, you can do a close-up on that. Yeah, so this is there's two sides to this. Now, um, with, a ton with this extended tunnel, because it's so deep, wood isn't sufficient enough to, to support your tunnel. So we've introduced a new, um, a new resource, iron, and you can see the, the iron oh, structures yeah. here that you have to acquire. And you'll get a right. building in this game to make iron. Um, and it'll also score you points. So the A side is, it's the same layout for everybody, mm -hmm. but if you want to have a unique asymmetrical layout, there's four different layouts in this game, and this one particularly uh, okay. requires two iron right there, which is B really, that would be pretty uh, tough to get. And so I'm assuming if it's B, then everyone's playing on the same side? B is completely different, yeah, B like would, Like everyone yes. plays B, everyone yes. plays A, okay. Yeah. I mean, you could pretty much do it either way, sure. but um, it's it's very asymmetric in this yeah. in this manner, so. Okay, and when um, is this uh, available? This will be available for pre-order on the Capstone Games website in April 1st. Okay. Uh, for, for about a month, and then we'll ship it out in May to all the backers. Um, one of the tiles, these are development tiles that you can get um, that will pertain to you. Right. Um, the farmer's wife comes into play now, and she's really cool because um, she 
can mine one coal or get rid of two pit water, pretty much like what everybody else yeah. can do. But the unique thing is mm -hmm. she can pull up the coal from the tunnel, uh -huh. which the only other player to do that is the Hashbowl Connect. That's right. But now the farmer's wife can do that. So I need that tile. And what's, <laughs> man, so one last thing about the tiles is they all inter these new tiles interact with the base game tiles. So with the farmer's wife, if you acquire a different tile, it's called the ladder in the base mm -hmm. game, you get to flip her over and oh. she becomes even more powerful oh in the game. So she That's gets more actions. But yeah, there's there's some really cool stuff in this expansion. We're just really excited about it. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. So thank you so much for showing us that one. I know you've got yeah. a few more here to take a look at. Yeah, and so the second title that we're releasing this this first half of the year mm -hmm. is Three Kingdoms Redux. Okay. Um, this is a three-player game set in the history of the Three Kingdoms period in China. Oh, it's three-player? Interesting. Yes, it's a three-player only game um, because it's historically... Th this game is super historically accurate, very thematic. Mm -hmm. um, after this, this Civil War period happened as a bloody battle, there were three um, power blocks that ro ro rose to power. The, the Wu, the Shu, and the Wei. Okay. And so, they, the designers implemented that into this game, so there are th exactly three players, and each player is going to take control of one of those power blocks, mm -hmm. and it's a worker placement game, but um, each person, so this is the Wu card deck, Okay. Um, everybody will have a lord that you start with, and this is a this is their main general here. These are your workers. Okay. Think of them as workers. Um, you're not going to get access to all of these in one game. Mm -hmm. You'll shuffle them up, draw a few, and discard one or two of these. So you'll have three or four to start with right. at the beginning of the game, and you'll acquire Let's more as you uh, as you play through the game. Okay. But what's super cool about this game is these workers each have their own unique ability. This text right here. Oh yeah. Um, they specialize in different army types, and there's a bunch of different army types in this game for battling your neighbors. <laughs> um, and then the, there's 12 worker placement uh, actions on the main board. And what's what I love about this is um, each section has, it's either an administrative value or a combat value. And for example, I'm not, I want to butcher this guy's name. No. <laughs> Zhao Tai, for example. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> one, one, of the, uh, one of the actions is recruit armies, and that will be a combat action. So this guy, if you, if you put him there, mm -hmm. he's, his bid is five, because mm -hmm. his combat level is five. Right. If somebody else wants to outbid you in that, they have to have a combination of combat rating with other generals that are higher than five. Oh. So just because you bid on an action space doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take it at the end of the round. Okay. So, oh, that's neat. Yeah. And I well, like the iconography as well there. It's very Yeah, the artwork is so beautiful in this. Pretty. We've enhanced the cards. They're linen finished with a black core, so they have a nice spring effect. Yeah. Very beautiful. The last thing I want to highlight yes, with please. the three-player game is in any three-player game, you always run into the issue where two people attack just one. Right. How we fix that in this is every single round, the ranking is changed one through three. Whoever's in second and third place, they get, they form an alliance. Okay. And so they get a special token that will go on any one of those 12 actions. And when they bid together against the, the person in first. So <laughs> it's kind of like ganging up on the first player, but then right. the next round, it's it, going to change. That's what I was about to say. It will change. And that's great yes. because I find a lot of those games you're constantly attacking one person and then it just seems a little unfair and balanced. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's, it plays so smoothly. Everybody starts off asymmetrically and it kind of balances out at the end and it's a beautiful game. It's very, Fantastic. very nice looking and I like the way that you're talking about how it would play. Yeah. And when is this available? It'll it'll be available at the same time as the Ruhr Valley. Um, April 1st is pre-orders and we'll be shipping it in May. So. And that's on Capstone uh, Games' website? Correct, capstone-games.com. Perfect. And is there anything else you wanted to share with us before we wrap up? That's it. That's what I have for Gamma today. That's fantastic. So yeah. thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very and, much. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. All righty. Bye. Thank you.